Good afternoon, PMS Stemley. Well, it's probably the morning. I'm recording this in the afternoon, but it's going to be the morning for you. Um, I've decided to let my hair go, man. It's, I mean, I have no one to impress right now. And, well, it's just you guys watching this, so, and I'm trapped indoors, except when I go outside in my own space. We're supposed to be socially distancing from each other. So, and I can't go to my favorite haircut. Just kind of let it go. Yeah. Anyways, we need to review, we need to review the law of conservation of mass and chemical reactions. Does anybody remember what the law of conservation of mass is? Well, law of conservation of mass states that matter cannot be created nor destroyed. It just breaks its bonds and trades atoms into other molecules, which what happens during chemical reaction. Today we're gonna to be using our little knowledge from the last video I talked about and the law of conservation of mass. Basically, I'll show you a couple chemical reactions from a website, and then you guys are gonna do a few on your own. I'm gonna show you a couple examples, and let's just get through the example. Our first example is making ammonia, where hydrogen bonds with nitrogen. And basically what we're seeing here is that we have nitrogen and hydrogen gas combining to form ammonia on the other side of the equations. And remember, since we're reviewing here, this side is uh, reactants on the left side of the equation, and on our right side of the equation is the products, what we get out of the reaction. And usually in the middle, sometimes we add energy to that system, those reactants to get them started. Some kind of electricity or heat that breaks the bonds of these atoms and reforms them into another molecule. But with this example, so far we have zero molecules or atoms on each side of the equation. But I'm just gonna add a few here. So if I add one molecule of nitrogen, see that kind of unbalances over there because we're gonna put two molecules of nitrogen on the other side. So we're gonna have to put, there's at least two atoms of nitrogen because all gas nitrogen travels in a pair of two atoms. The same way with hydrogen, it also travels in a pair of two. So we balanced out nitrogen on both sides and we have two molecules of ammonia on one side. But we also gotta balance out the hydrogen gas on the left, on the reactant side. So we gotta go back here and for every molecule of hydrogen gas, we have two hydrogens. And on our product side, we have six hydrogens. So we're gonna multiply this molecule of hydrogen gas times three. That will give you six atoms of hydrogen ions on both sides of the equations, giving you one gas molecule of nitrogen, three gas molecules of hydrogen, and two molecules of ammonia on the product side. Now, in the next example, we're gonna separate water. So what happens when we separate water? Remember, I gave you that in a couple videos ago, I showed you electrolysis and I took a video of it and put it in the thing where we run electricity through the water and that's how you separate hydrogen and oxygen and gas in water. So all you do to this is you add electricity to water and it separates hydrogen gas from each other and creates hydrogen gas molecules. So, but we need to balance these equations. So if I put one molecule of water on the left side, which is our reactant side, and in this case, we're just adding electricity energy to the system. We're only adding electricity to one molecule and just separating that molecule. We're not, so we only have one reactant that's being broken down into two reactants. Sometimes you only, you don't need more than one molecule on each side of the equation. You can just have one. So in this example, we have water and I have one molecule of water. So therefore we need to have two hydrogens on both sides. So we got two hydrogens and therefore I only need one molecule of hydrogen gas. So our hydrogens are balanced, but we have one oxygen left. So we're gonna have to put more on a reactant side to make sure we have our equation balanced. 
in order to have one molecule of oxygen gas on one side of the equation, we're gonna have to have two molecules of water because remember, oxygen travels in a pair of two atoms. So we're gonna have to add more hydrogen also. So we, on this side, we have four hydrogen now. Therefore, we need to multiply this gas molecule of hydrogen by two because it travels in pairs of two. So our equation here is balanced. We have four atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side and the product side. Same way with oxygen, we have two on each side. Now, next molecule we're gonna be able to look at is the, is the combustion of methane. You ready? Sure. Are you guys ready? Are There's we ready? Column of flame. Are we holding flames? Yep. Three, two, okay. one. Ooh, that was okay. awesome. Your hand's still there. You still have all your fingers. Still look at this, guys. And I still have a hand. Okay. Methane, remember, is a gas. When we light gas on fire, it separates the molecules and the, the atoms in that gas. In this case, we're looking at methane, which is CH4. And it combines with the oxygen and creates a fire. And the products of that fire are carbon dioxide and water. And we're gonna start off when, with one molecule of methane, which is one CH4. So we have one carbon and we have four hydrogens on the reactant side. But we also have to add some oxygens. And we know oxygen travel, gas travels in two pairs of atoms. So we're gonna add two to the reactant side. And so we're gonna have to make sure we add that on this side too. So we have one carbon in the methane, so we're gonna put one CO2 molecule on this side, so we at least have the carbons balanced, but we need to add more hydrogens. And we know we need four hydrogens because methane has four, so we're gonna have to at least have two water molecules. So now our hydrogen is imbalanced, but our, our oxygens are still imbalanced. So we gotta add one more oxygen gas molecule to make it balanced. So for the rest of the year, I'm going with the fro. For your homework tonight, you need to take a look at the Balancing Chemical Equations Simulator. Click on the game, and I want you to complete all three levels. And take a screenshot of, of when you complete those levels. It'll give you a score of with some stars in it. Also, um, congratulations to our winner who found a picture of me. You will be getting your prize in the mail. You know who you are. You ready? Sure. You guys ready? Are There's we ready? Column of flames. Are we Hopefully. holding flames? Ready? Yep. Three, two, okay. one. Ooh, that was okay. awesome. Your hand's still there. You still have all your fingers. Still look at this, guys. I still have a hand. Okay. 